What's going on guys? Last video I said I was getting new wheels and I got them so I'm gonna show you guys what wheels I got and keep in mind some of you guys probably won't know what's the difference and some of you guys probably won't even know the difference. There we go. 15 by 8. 15 by 8 plus 35 offset TE37 OGs. Now the difference between these, they're wider of course than my older ones because my older ones were 15 by 7 35 offset. The 15 by 8 35 offset OG ones, they are concaved a bit. If you guys can see, they're slightly concaved and they look a lot better. And good thing about these wheels are they are I got them practically brand new. My friend that sold them to me, he gave me too good of a deal, I could not pass up on it. That's why I got rid of my OTEs and put in extra cash for these ones. And also the benefit about these one is because they're wider and I don't need to run spacers anymore. So no more spacers, just straight up this wheel. Or yeah. And this is after me getting alignment. Uh the fronts are a little they are a little sunk, but I'm not I don't care because the car drives straight. The alignment, you know, does the job. And a lot of you guys have been asking me on uh, what my alignment specs are. Honestly, I can tell you guys, but you guys should do alignment specs towards your own car. So it fits your needs. You guys will figure that out and all that. But that's what the car looks like. They look so good. Like, oh man. And here's the side shot. And the finish on these ones, they actually look a lot more darker because I think because they're new, they're not faded. But they are new and then you guys can see the stickers in there. Uh, my friend Randall, he gave me the boxes with them too. And these are different tires. These are uh, Toyo R888s. If you guys don't know, these are R compounds. I'm not dealing on them. Well, I'm dealing, dealing on them right now, but I pick up another set of tires next week up in LA or Whittier at our compound because um, these ones I'm gonna keep for the track and I'm just gonna mount them on when I go to the track but I got the car aligned at the alignment place on these tires and these tires are a lot bigger than my Hankook R3s my Hankook R3s were 225 45s these are 225 50s and they are a lot bigger and yeah as you can see that I rubbed a bit but that's fixed now because I got alignment but these are 225 50s and for those of you guys that are buying tires even though you are getting a 225 45 like for example if you get a 225 45 Toyota R Triple H's like these or a 225 45 R3's the profile the, the sidewall profile and everything will be different because it's not the same company all that and some tires that you could buy it as like 25 50's like for example like 25 50 Nexans versus 205 50's Neo gens, the Neo gens are actually a lot bigger. They look beefier. These are even beefier than R series, even if I got the 45 series. But these came with the wheels. They're brand new Toyota R888s, 225 50s, and they look so good. And it looks way better with the brakes too now. That concave. And I know for a fact I'm gonna be receiving comments on why'd you spend, you know. Why would you buy $2,000 wheels and put on a $2,000 or like, well this car is probably worth like $1,500 nowadays, but on a Civic, you know, it's just like, this is how I build my car. I'd rather pay for authentic shit compared to buying fake shit. Like, I'm not hating on fake stuff or like replica parts or anything, but I'd rather be putting money towards actual companies that make the legit stuff, as in like, I don't want them to go out of business and all that. Like, let's just, let's just be a dick for, or let me just be a dick. Like TJ Hunt, like, he bought a fake rock bunny kit and he makes loads of fucking money. Why would you even buy a fake kit? Like, dude, straight up. He makes, dude, come on. He makes way more than like all of us like that are watching my video, of course. Like, that was racking hard. He ends up buying a fake kit like when he can spend another grand or two to get the real kit. I know people are like, oh, you're scraping and all that, but you know, people just buying the fake kits make the actual real companies go out of business and they won't make anymore. Like, think about like, Panda will not be making any more Rocket Bunny kits. Like, later on in the future, who knows, but 
thank God Panam's Panam or Jack Kyoto is still in business making the Rocket Bunny kits on every single different car like Lamborghinis and all that shit if you guys haven't seen so but I don't want folks to go out of business like they are one of the best wheels out there on the market like you could buy but this is what the car looks like on the brand new T37s and I do have the boxes in my garage And let me just clarify, like, I received comments where people were like, hey, um, I, want to thank, I want to thank you for bringing me into, like, buying real quality parts, like, authentic parts. I appreciate it. Thank you for that nice comment. But at the same time, it all depends on you. It all depends on your money. It depends on how you want to spend your money on real parts or anything. I just spend my money on real parts because, you know, I grew up around it and I like supporting the actual, like, companies and stuff. And, yeah, so... That's one reason why I put $2,000 wheels on my car. But I did not pay $2,000 for these. I got these for, I'll be honest with you, these wheels normally retail for roughly $2,300. Um, well, $2,250, $2,300 from ICB Motorsports. And I picked them up for $16. Brand new. Got the box and all that. It's only been driven on once. And they were mint as fuck. I kind of wish I showed you guys before I mounted the tires, but I, you know, I was in a rush trying to get it rolling because I sold my OTEs sitting in my brother's spoons. But I paid 1600 for them, and you, I cannot complain about the price. Like, that's literally $600 cheaper, six dollars $700 cheaper than buying it brand new. And, but I was hella happy, you know? I told him, like, hey, hold on, hold on to the wheels for me, Randall, and I will pick them up in a month or so. And then, you know, that's when I just saved up, sold some things, and bought the wheels. So, you, you guys never know when you guys will always run across a deal on the internet. And when you do run across a deal on the internet, you could easily come up on a set of legit wheels for cheap. Like my old white T37s, you guys watched my videos back in the day, my 15 by 6 and I actually sold this for $500. My white T37s, $500. And surprisingly, people still lowballed me, but my friend ended up buying for 500 because, dude, 500 bucks for TEs? You cannot fucking complain for forged wheels. But yeah, I got these for 16. And I did buy the tires. The tires were $400, and they're roughly $700, so. Package due for two thousand bucks. Can't complain. Uh, happy with the outcome. Love how it looks. Looks way more aggressive. And can't wait to go to the track with these tires. These are considered the cheat tires because they are amazing as fuck compared to my Bridgestone RE seventy one Rs. But not gonna be dealing them because they are our compounds. Yeah. But this is what the car looks like with the new T37s. But anyways, that was like a whole rant video. So, stay tuned for the next videos. I have more videos coming out like always. And uh, yeah, hopefully you stick around guys. It's got a lot more to come out for this car. My previous video, I did say like, I'm kind of running out of things to do, but I hit a landmine, not a landmine. I got, I hit a rainbow, I guess. Got more shit coming for the car. And stay tuned for that. Got more dia got more install videos coming up and how to's. So like, comment, subscribe, this like up to you guys. Stay tuned for the next video and have a wonderful day guys. Peace out. I'm holding my camera to do the outro.